Welcome to Cary Library at Home. Cary Library and Minuteman Library patrons can transfer books for free from OverDrive to a Kindle. In this video, I will demonstrate how to do this using your computer and a browser. You can also transfer OverDrive books to a Kindle using the Libby app on your phone or tablet. This is covered in another video. You will need a computer with an internet browser, such as Google Chrome, Firefox, or Safari, a Kindle device, or a device with the Kindle app downloaded to it, an internet connection. Both your computer and your Kindle need to be connected to the internet to make the transfer. You also need an Amazon account, and you will need to know the email address and password associated with that account. To begin, open your web browser and go to Minuteman's OverDrive page. It's minuteman.overdrive.com. Now click on Sign In in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Choose Minuteman Library Patrons from the drop-down menu. Sign in using your library card number. You can also use your username if you've created one to go with your library card number. Enter the PIN or password associated with your library card and click on Sign In. Search for an item you want to borrow by clicking on Search and typing in a title or author in the box. You can also browse for an item. Once you find an item you want, click on the cover image to see the details. Under Formats, check to see if the book is available as a Kindle book. If it is, click on Borrow. Set the borrowing duration. Use the drop-down arrow. You can choose 7, 14, or 21 days. Click Borrow again. Now click Read with Kindle. Amazon will open in your browser. Log into your Amazon account using the email and password associated with that account. You will come to a page with a description of your book. If you have more than one Kindle, select the Kindle you want the book delivered to using the drop-down menu. Now click Get Library Book. Make sure your Kindle has an internet connection. The book should be delivered to your device or app. Troubleshooting. If you don't find your book on your Kindle device or app, there are a few things you can do to troubleshoot. First, make sure your Kindle has an internet connection. Sync your Kindle. Each Kindle model is a little different, but you will find a sync function on it. Try shutting off your Kindle device for 30 seconds and then turn it back on again. If these steps don't work, you can re-deliver your book to your Kindle from the Amazon website. We are going to go over this step by step. If you aren't already logged in, log into your Amazon account. Hover on your name at the top of the screen and in the menu that appears, click on Content and Devices. Check to see if the book you are looking for is here. You can see which Kindle the book was delivered to by clicking on the little arrow in the Devices column. If you've chosen the wrong Kindle or no Kindle is listed, click in the box to the left of your title under the Select column. Now click on Deliver in the menu above. A box will open. Click on the arrow next to Devices Selected and click in the box next to the correct Kindle. Now click Deliver. Again, make sure your Kindle has a Wi-Fi connection. Your book should be delivered to that device. Holds. If you come to an item that says Waitlist, you can place a hold on that item. Check to see that it's an ebook and available in the Kindle format. Now click Place a Hold. Enter your email address and then enter it again. Click on Place a Hold again. You will receive an email when the item is ready to check out. 
To return to your holds, click on My Account, then Holds. From here, you can change the contact email for your holds, you can delay your holds, and you can cancel a hold. To check out a hold that has become available to you, just click on Borrow. Set the borrowing duration and click Borrow again. Now click Read with your Kindle. Amazon will open. Just sign into your Amazon account and click Get Library Book. Make sure your Kindle has an internet connection. The book should be delivered to your device or app. Thank you for joining us today. Visit Cary Library's YouTube page to watch more tutorials about our online resources.